Hello my friends and welcome back to Aki's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you a very traditional Greek recipe called Yemista. Yemista means stuffing. Actually the philosophy of this dish is that we are taking any vegetables we have in the garden or in the fridge and making a very delicious and summery food. And let's begin by preheating our oven to 180 degrees set to fan and uh, we'll start first preparing our potatoes. I have 500 grams of baby potatoes that are washed and scrubbed. You can use any kind of potatoes you like. I'm leaving the skin on because I feel they are much more flavorful like this. Place a pan over high heat. Add two tablespoons of olive oil. As soon as the oil gets hot, add the potatoes. Season with salt and pepper. Stir and saute for four to five minutes, just to brown them a little, which will add more flavor. You don't want to cook them through, since they will cook in the oven. My potatoes seems ready. So now I will transfer these potatoes to an oven-proof uh, dish and I will carry on the whole recipe with this pan and this oven-proof dish. That's it. Slice off the top of three onions. Scoop out most of the inner layers, leaving about three to four outer onion layers to create a sturdy shell. Put the onion shells in the baking dish. Finally chop all of the inner layers, put them in a bowl and set it aside. So, my onions are ready and let's carry on with the tomatoes. Slice the bottoms off, preferably beefsteak tomatoes. Cut about half to one centimeter. This will be the cup. Cutting the bottoms of the tomatoes allows them to hold more of the filling. Carefully scoop out the flesh, leaving the outer shell intact. If you rip it, your filling will fall out while baking. Place the tomato shells in the baking dish, stem side down, and the flesh you scooped out into a bowl. Mash it with your hands to break it down as much as possible. Slice off a very small piece of the bottom of bell peppers. Slice off the tops, cutting about half to one centimeter under the stem to open them up and create a cup. Remove the seeds and any flesh inside. Arrange them nicely in the baking dish. Now our vegetables are ready to be stuffed. I uh, will make a very nice, a very juicy, a very special, a very unique, a very summery uh, stuffing and it's very easy to make. Just follow my instructions. Place a pan over high heat and add four tablespoons of olive oil. Add your chopped onions, two sliced cloves of garlic, quarter one zucchini, dice and add it to the pan. Quarter one carrot and dice, and add it to the pan. Add one tablespoon granulated sugar. Season with a generous amount of salt and freshly ground pepper, since you will be adding the rice also, and it needs a good amount of seasoning. Stir and saute until the vegetables caramelize nicely. Add 350 grams of arborio rice or rice for risotto, and saute until it turns light golden. Sauteing the rice seals it so it doesn't let it get mushy when cooking. Add one tablespoon tomato paste and saute again. Doing this, it brings out a better taste and helps the sauce thicken. Add 600 ml of water and let it simmer for five minutes. Turn off the heat. Add your tomato flesh and stir again. Do not cook any longer because they will cook further in the oven. Before you fill your vegetable cells, add some fresh herbs to the filling. Finally chop one bunch of parsley, one third of a bunch of dill and a bunch of mint. Only the leaves. Add all of the herbs to the first and stir. Drizzle all of the vegetables with a generous amount of extra virgin Greek olive oil, both inside and out. Sprinkle with salt and freshly ground pepper. Fill your vegetables with the filling. Add any of the leftover filling over the potatoes so they can become even tastier. Add 200 ml of water in the baking dish and drizzle with some more extra virgin olive oil. Cover the baking pan with aluminum foil. And it's time to cook this lovely dish, ladies and gentlemen. It's very summery, it's very delicious, very Greek and very easy to make. We will cook for about one hour with aluminum foil, then we will take off the aluminum foil and cook 
for another 10 to 20 minutes until it becomes golden brown. That's it. And here are my lovely stuffed vegetables. To serve, place one tomato, one green pepper and one onion. Add some potatoes, drizzle with some extra virgin Greek olive oil and a spring of mint. For the full Greek experience, serve some real Greek feta cheese. Look at how nicely the vegetables are cooked. Every time I'm trying this dish, it's like first time. Because every time it's a different dish. Uh, it's a very seasonal dish. So, you need ripe tomatoes, bursting with flavor. Uh, you can feel all the veggies we added inside. You can feel all the herbs. Oh my God, it's so tasty. It's actually a Greek style risotto. Please try this recipe, you will love it. Uh, don't forget to serve it with feta cheese uh, because we need some protein uh, for the meal. We have the protein from the, from the feta cheese. We have the carbs from the potatoes and the rice. We have all the vitamins and fiber uh, from the vegetables of the dish. This amazing dish is complete. Please subscribe to my channel, let me know your comments. Please like, uh, share the video, uh, make the recipe. Let me know what else do you like to see me cook for you. Uh, see you next time, bye bye, yasas. <laughs>